What's up, the Giants? I'm here with... I'm making a video. Shane. <laughs> and welcome to this Monday morning weekly episode of John's Thoughts. Episode Thoughts. 299. Let's go. I knew so, we were getting close to 300. So, 299 is a good number. Apparently, Shane, guess what? Mm. Jalen Brown says, It's been six years and I haven't bought a car. Ask the fans, what should I get? Does he have like a choice? Like no, a he can get any car. But to say. He, he wants to get any car, but he asks the fans, what, it's been six years and he hasn't had a bought a car, so he wants it. So he asks people, what should, he, what should I get? Well, I mean, we got to think he's got a lot of money, right? Yeah, you know, that's like why. A, like a lot of money, but I don't know. I mean, you got to get something efficient, right? Yeah, get something efficient, Jay. Is he really Brown. driving, bro? I don't even know. Didn't, we, didn't I ask you about this? Like, doesn't he just take the bus? <laughs> take the bus to practice. Can you imagine? <laughs> and the plane? Like, I'm sure, like, they got to fly to Toronto or something. Yeah, know? they do do that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But I don't, know, I don't know if a lot of them drive. No. I mean, if he was actually going to be driving to states, like, from state to state, uh, he's definitely going to have to get something that's not, like, a sports car. He's got to get something that's fuel. Maybe fashion. he's nervous. It's kind of a strange question. It's actually a loaded question because it doesn't, it's not telling us anything, man. Exactly. Like, where is he? Is he driving across country all the time? Yeah, maybe. I don't even know. Maybe, 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 maybe if, it's, if he's only driving it, you know, on the off season. That's like Daniel Norris. Rides in, drives in the van. He drives in the van? Rides his van all, all year long. Oh, does he really? Yeah. And Daniel Norris. Yep. He stays in his van. He stays in there all summer long and drives around uh, all, all off season. He like, travels. I did not know that. It's a shame we oh, traded him. actually interesting. It's a shame we traded him. No. Oh, kind of a loner. <laughs> I think that's funny. <laughs> that's interesting. Well, come on. Picture, pictures are very uh, weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> Well, Jalen Brown is not weird. So, Jalen Brown, this is the car I recommend you to get. I recommend you to get a, get an SUV and drive around in a van. <laughs> Dude, I, that's exactly what I would say. Yeah. Completely agree. So, share this video with Jalen Brown, everybody. We love the Celtics. Let's go Celtics. October 4th. Oh, it is October 4th because guess what? That is, they play the Atlanta Magic. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely watching. I can, are they, they're streaming that, right? Yep. Okay. So, here we go. Josh Gordon signs with the Kansas City Chiefs. Josh Gordon from the uh, Seattle Seahawks. Ah, uh, he was in the Seahawks. He's been on a few teams, though, right? That's, that's not, yeah, a lot of teams, but that's not going to help him. Uh, who do you sign with? The Kansas City Chiefs. Oh man. Well, I think it's a, I think it's a good um, anything to help the Chiefs. In this anything to time. help them, but it's not going to help them beat the Chargers. That's what I think they're salty about. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I think they're real salty. That's my rare. I think they're, they're reaching now. Let's see. Now, what does this say? Uh, oh, boy. Oh, Dor bench is cleared, right, Shane? During uh -huh. a Detroit Tigers and White Sox game over the week. Really? Yep. What, what about? Apparently, Alex Lane hit Jose Abreu in the ribs with the baseball and retaliated after they hit one of their guys, and then Jose, Jose Abreu slid into second base almost took out Nico Goodrum. So Nico Goodrum got all upset, oh, and then Ben just started clearing. They started fighting. That's wonderful. I mean, it's terrible. You know, it's not not good. But <laughs> I know. That's why. I got to go check that out. <laughs> they do. It happened over the week. That's why I thought it was funny and hilarious to write that down. Wow, they're really heated. I know, right? Because the White, the White Sox are still in it, so. Yeah, they are. They don't really care, but. We, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's why. So. The Tampa Bay Rays win the uh, uh, American League East Division, and they are the champions. They are, and they're—I mean—they're going to go take it all. I mean, the next Let's not jinx it yet, Shane. Let's worry about trying to get past either the Red Sox or anybody else. You know, I'm just. Yeah. Let's not at jinx anything moment, yet. At this point, we probably. We want that I mean, bye week. Probably. Yep. We definitely. Yeah. We definitely got it. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. Remember him on Tampa Nuggets? Agrees to yeah, a five-year agrees to a five-year extension with the Nuggets. Wow, Michael Porter Jr. Yeah, he's been clutch, man. He's young. I like Michael Porter Jr. Come to the Celtics. I we'll, do too. We'll that take you. I was gonna say that'd be a nice pickup. Definitely a nice pickup. So now, apparently, Ohio State football player took off his jersey and walked off the field during the game. 
and that had to be escorted off the field. He just quit on the team. He just quit on them. Wow. That ruins his career, right? He quit? He just quit completely? Yep. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> you know, we're going to move on to a funny thing. So, right? wait, what? I don't understand why, though. Did he, was he, uh... No, I don't even know why either. Do you know anything else about? No, but I don't know why it was, but apparently I forgot who it was, but he just took off his jersey and left the field and walked off. Huh. Well, there you go. There you I go. guess he decided he didn't want to play football anymore. No more Ohio State. That ruins it. Better sooner than, than later, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Apparently, go. uh, Anthony Lynn. Anthony Lynn on the Detroit Lions. Ah. Uh. Anthony Lynn, um... Anthony Lynn of the Detroit Lions offensive coordinator, right? Yeah. Is being pursued oh, okay. for a coaching job at oh. USC. Huh. Like a football team. And he's doing it during the middle of the Detroit oh, Lions okay. season. Oh, I'm, on, I'm on your rotten. Okay. Really? Yep. That sends that's a terrible message. So that's showing you that he's quitting on the Lions, Anthony Lynn. Yeah, uh, it's probably not a good sign because he's in the he's in the locker room with the guys. Exactly. Probably sees everything. That's why I love the Chargers more. Oh yeah. Well, they're definitely looking really good this year. Those are still numb. It's never a bad thing to have a backup team. Oh, now we're gonna move on to Dance with the Stars, Shane. <laughs> oh, here we go. Apparently, Dance with the Stars got their first elimination, and it was that guy from uh, Cobra Kai Star. From the Karate Kid movie, I'm not going yeah. over the older guy oh. was knocked off first. What's that guy's name? Yeah. It's like the original Karate Kid movies. Yeah, Grove, yeah, Cove, Mar Mar Mayo Cove, Cove. Oh, was he? Is what? What color hair did he have? Gray. So. Oh, <laughs> of course. He got knocked uh, off, and so he was 75 uh, years old, and so he was I terrible at dancing. He let the other girl do all the work, but him. Well. Yeah, at least they're being they're being you know strict about it. It's cool. But the Miz did, is on Dance Miz with the do? Stars. Oh, yeah. He did good. He survived. Nice. Crazy. You have to look at his Instagram. Yeah. He's a good dancer. I gotta check that out. I bet he is a good dancer. Crazy. He We're, seems he like the kind of person twice. that sets his mind to something and just does it. I know. I love yeah. the Miz. That's why everybody yeah. stop hating on him. You know, it's ridiculous. Oh yeah, he's so good. Such a good worker. Such a nice guy, the Miz. That's what we all can't hate. Him. Can't hate on him. No, no can never. Uh. Richard Sherman met with the Tempe Buccaneers and then signed a contract with them to join the team. Richard Sherman? Yep, now he's with the Tempe Buccaneers. Has he even been playing? No, but now he's back. That's wonderful. Is he going to play next week? He's going to play next week. Yep, of course. Yeah. But wasn't, he, wasn't he the guy that got into a lot of trouble with jail and stuff like that, Shane? That's crazy. Huh? He got, was he in trouble with illegal actions, like stealing stuff or out of somebody's yeah. house or something? Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember. That's why when yeah. you said Richard Sherman, I was like, Richard Sherman? Now he's I back in the league. I heard that name in so long. I know, that's why. No, well, Tom Brady, that's, that's Tom Brady needs every single help just to win, but I don't think Richard Sherman's talking about yeah. Tim Bay too much on their offense. Went to Motor Vehicle, got it, and boom. Yeah, but yeah. Like, uh, it's weird that all these teams, are like the Chiefs, exactly. are trying to get a little pickup. Yeah, the Buccaneers exactly. are. Oh, on to our Detroit Lions, Shane. Speaking of... Detroit Lions release veteran linebacker J Jamie Collins. Wow. I know that name. We don't really need him. He was terrible. He, uh, he didn't, I guess yeah. not. It's because Dan Campbell didn't like how the way he was performing during the season. Yeah. So that's why he, he got rid of him. So what is that? I, I guess he's like putting probably a rookie in his spot. Yeah. I maybe a, don't maybe know, but they I released, no they released yeah. him. It's kind of they're kind of saving him unless he doesn't get on another right. team, you know. But he's he's on a exactly. sinking ship. But I guess it playing in the NFL is better than not playing in the NFL. So exactly. that's pretty sad. The St. Louis Cardinals clinched the second wild card spot for I the know, playoffs. The first person to see you. Oh yeah, they did. So, they're the first people to see. You. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, I think they're on a seventeen game time. win streak. Too. Well, maybe, maybe not right now because this is Monday. Oh, yeah. So they well, need yeah. It. I see. What number would it be? I'm gonna laugh if they're on the wind streak by Monday. It'd be in the twenty. Yeah, no, I think. Twenty. That's how I'm gonna laugh. That'd be funny, actually, if they were still on it. Because then this would just be part of that. 
I know, and we make the video and then we're still. I'm just cracking up thinking about it. Like, I'm going to laugh if you're right. I hope I'm right, man. That'd be great. Okay, because I don't I want to spoil it. Like we filmed this out earlier, like time. Time traveler. Oh, that's yeah. why. <laughs> so let's hope they're starting a win streak, though. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Let them knock out the. I mean, I like the Cardinals. I like Cardinals, so I, I mean, part of me always likes the Cardinals. Oh, uh, let's Cardinals. see. What's this say? Uh, oh, boy. Uh,. Oh, Quentin Dunbar signs yeah. with the Arizona Cardinals. Quentin Dunbar. I never heard of him before, to be honest. You know, I'm just right, right everything exactly. just what I can for uh Exactly. John's thoughts. It's, oh yeah, I'm in, I'm interested in all the little pickups. I know. I wonder yeah, why. So now I'm calling for them. For the Rams, that's why. Alright. Was he on the Rams? Yeah. yeah. No 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 he didn't play for the Rams. He signed with them to play against the Rams this weekend. Exactly. Oh, oh, okay. I love you. That's a big game. Over the weekend, yep. It, well, it did happen. Well, but do you know what position he plays? Not sure what he played. Wide receiver or... Um, I have to look it up. I follow NFL training sets where I get all the football news. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to check that out. So now we go on to, apparently, an Eagles wide receiver. Jalen Resco gets mad at Fan for not giving him a Big Mac. <laughs> I'll tell you mine in the back early. Really. E Eagles wide receiver Jalen Resco gets mad at Fan for not giving him a Big Mac. Was that like in a McDonald's? No, it was like on. It was, it, it, was, it was an Instagram. He says, if you put up big numbers for my fantasy points, I'll buy you a Big Mac. So he's like cursing back at the fan and stuff. And there's actually oh, like a man. little conversation between them. So you have to look that up. Was it, was it like a joke? It was like, no, it wasn't. He was serious. The guy really wanted it from him. Wow. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to check that out. It's hilarious once you read it. Uh, now, last but not least. Jalen Resco? Is that his name you said? Yeah. Jalen Resco, I think that's his name. It's hard to pronounce these equals last names. You know, they have weird names. Yeah. But that yeah. could make him lose his job. It could if it's real, you know. You know, I think you should write him an Instagram message. See what he replies to. Do you? Oh, I don't. I mean, I don't want to. I don't get like. Uh, he replies back. I think you should just say yeah. this to him. Like you should write this to him. Like, I wish you good luck for the whole season. <laughs> I hope you win the season. <laughs> I know, because then, then even if it's like you know, I don't really like that. If it's true, it's a little weird. That means he's not nice. Yeah. I'd say. Now, last but not least, Manny Pacquiao retires from boxing at age 42 years old. Wow, that's right. He retired he's the today. Only, he's the only uh, boxer in history to hold eight world titles Took him in long eight enough. different weight classes. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Thank you for telling me that fact. You want me to say it again? Yeah. Eight, eight different titles in eight different weight classes. Wow, that's impressive. So I don't even remember what they were, but it's don't a large remember. scale. Wow, congratulations to Manny Pecco. Happy retirement from boxing. Yeah, wonderful. Well, that's going to be here, everybody, for John's Thoughts, episode 299. The final week, guess what? Get ready, because that's a big number, 300. Oh, man. 300. That is a big one. Who's going who's to be in that? Ho hopefully Clutch back next week, everybody. Let's go, Colette. <laughs> I have to show her that she watches my videos too, so don't worry. Huh? You gotta do something grand for that. That's number three. I have to do something grand for that with Colette. Grand. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, so, yeah. That is a big I have to do something with Colette. Like yeah, you gotta think about stuff. that one. I have to think of what to do. Special. I'm gonna throw paper around or something. You gotta do fireworks and confetti. Yeah, and confetti or something. <laughs> <laughs> for 300. Yeah, exactly. Bro. Thank you to my grandma for helping me start in John's thoughts. So that's why. So, anyway, I'm on 300, so that's a good thing. So let's go, Colette. Come back next week to John's thoughts. And this was Shane joining yeah. me over the phone, everybody. So let's go, Colette. Let's go, Colette. <laughs> oh, you want to say anything about it? You want to say anything? Like wishing her good luck? Um, yeah, just, you know, be good to each other. <laughs> yeah. So once again, the John's Please like this video. Leave your comments down below for John's thoughts. Episode 299 in the books. Thank you here, Shane, for joining me over the phone. And of course, brother. Please like this video. Leave your comments down below. And subscribe for more videos for during the week. Peace out, guys. Peace, guys. Love you. Love you, too. <laughs> <laughs>